There we go. All right, my dears, let's make a start. So good afternoon or evening as well as good morning if this is the recording. Uh, and I was just saying to people who are here in real life, um, you don't necessarily need any props, but of course, if you've got some blocks or a strap, you are welcome to use them whenever you need. Playlist today is 45 min morning vinyasa. We can press play in three, two, one, go for it. Of course, if you don't want to use the playlist, you don't have to. <laughs> I'll never know. All right. You come to a seated position. You can sit on a block if you like. Roll the shoulders up to the ears, back down and away. We'll take three big breaths together. Fill the back of the body with breath, stretching the spine, spreading the kidneys. And as you breathe out, relax the shoulders, let the chest come down, pull the belly up and in. Same thing as you breathe in, but this time let the ribs come out as well. The sides of the body stretch. Releasing the front of the body down and in as you breathe out. Let's breathe in all the wonderful possibilities of this new day. Stretching up, stretching sideways, stretching the front of the belly also. And breathe out, accepting whatever will come, will come. Bring your arms out to the sky, stretch your arms up to the sky, stretching as high as you can, like a big morning stretch. Oh, it's so good. As you breathe out, bring your hands to your heart. I invite you to set the intention today to connect. We connect to each other, we connect to our bodies, we connect into ourselves in order to connect out to the whole universe. It's a beautiful world out there. And even more beautiful because you are part of it. One last big breath in. Blink your eyes open as you breathe out, relax the hands. Super. Let's come off if you were block, if you were sitting on one. I'm going to take off my cardigan and then come to a fear Fusle stand, a tabletop position. Spread those fingers really nice and wide. Your index finger, first fingers pointing forward, knees, uh, sorry, knees and hips aligned, wrists and shoulders aligned. Pull both sides of the belly in, top of the head reaches forward. And on your next breath in, find a cow pose. Tilt the tailbone up, let the belly drop. Squeeze your chest through the shoulders, look up. Big breath out, tailbone tucks, pull the belly in, push into the hands, lift and separate the shoulders. Cut. Three more times, breathe in for your cow, saying good morning to your body. Big breath out, cat, saying hello to your core. Cow pose as you breathe in, opening up the chest. Big breath out, grounding into the earth, cat. Cow pose as you breathe in. It always feels amazing, cow and cat. Breathe last time, breathe out. Beautiful. We're going to add on. So please roll over the toes so now your feet are flat. Beautiful. And now as you breathe in, bring your heels towards your bottom for cow. So still coming up, intensifying the stretch. As you breathe out, push into the tops of your feet, cat pose, but lift the knees as high as you can, pull the belly in. Drop the knees, lift the feet, cow. Feet down, lift the knees, cat. Pull the belly in. Two more times. And last one. All right, stay with the knees up. I know it's horrible. And then when you next breathe out, you're rolling over the toes into your downward dog. Bend one knee, bend the other, nod your head yes, shake your head no. Check on the hands, are the knuckles lifted? Push them back down. Think about your arms, are the elbows pointing out? Can you wrap the triceps? That means the outside of your arms pull in. Just moving without really having to have a destination, just moving to find some aliveness in your body to connect 
connecting to the earth in order to lift up and out. Bend your knees a bit, lift the sit bones higher. Let's pull the belly to the spine, push into the hands. I know, it's so much. And then you next breathe out. We'll come back onto hands and knees. Adjust yourself how you need. Great. We'll bring the hands to face backwards. Regulars in my class, you know that this is super intense for me. So if it's intense for you also, you're not alone. Tuck your toes for stability. Breathe in through your nose. Lion's breath out. That means you go cross-eyed, stick your tongue out, and we lean back. Let's practice this. Lean back. Two more times. Breathe in. Try not to arch the back now. Lean back, lines, breath. Last one. Big old lines, breath out. Come forward. Awesome. Come onto your fingertips. Pull with the fingers. Bring the chin to the chest. Big, 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 big cat. Oh, yes. All right. From here, lift up your heels. Point the toes. Cross at the shins, your bottom goes between your legs, so you're sitting down. Try to land with a little bit of control, but don't worry if there wasn't. It's amazing. Sukhasana, easy seat. Reach your arms all the way up. As you breathe out, very classic, right hand down, left arm reaches up and over. Circle that left wrist three times. Look at it. Listen to it, maybe it's clicky the other way. Beautiful, stretch a little bit more. And then let's come all the way up. Palms touch, belly is in, ribs are in. Breathe out, left hand down, right arm up and over. Nice, look at the top hand, three circles. One, two, three, reverse three, two, and one. Can you stretch a bit more, feeling the side of your body with breath? And then let's come all the way up. Reach as you breathe out. We'll bring the left hand to the right knee, the right hand behind and twist. Maybe with a click in your back, I got one. <laughs> Reaching all the way up, breathe out, we'll twist the other way. Okay, from this position, are you ready? We're going to find downward dog facing the back of the mat. So lift your knees. Bring your right hand over towards the back, undo yourself, step back, downward dog. So your hands are at the back of the mat, you're looking at the front of the mat. Oh, surprise, I know. From here, roll like a wave into plank. As you breathe out, come onto your knees, chest and chin. Into cobra, roll the shoulders back, the elbows are a bit bent. Down dog, breath out. Super, okay. From here, we'll lift the right leg up. As you breathe out, bring the right foot forwards. Come onto your fingertips and rock forwards and back. High hips. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, your left foot goes all the way through. You sit down. So your right knee is bent, your left foot is straight. Great. Your right knee comes out to the side like Janashasana. Reach your hands up. Right hand reaches back. You're on your back knee. Come all the way up for kneeling wild thing. Left foot goes by the right hand. Wow, oh, it's a big twist. Left hand reaches for the front, undo the right toe. Right hand reaches to the front. Find downward dog, move your feet. Cool. All right. Roll like a wave into plank as you breathe out this time to the floor. Find up dog, big breath in. Down dog, breath out. Adjust your hands, adjust your feet. So down dog facing the front of the mat is where we are. Beautiful. All right. From here, we'll walk the hands back, 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 back. Hold on to your elbows and hang out. Mm. Sway a little bit left and right, right and left. Bring the hands about halfway forwards and then cross your legs and sit all the way down. 
cool. From here, reach your hands up. As you breathe out, we're going to twist first over to the left. Hands up, twist over to the right. Left hand to the right leg, right hand behind you. Oh, I got another click on my back. We're finding downward dog facing the back. Pivot, turn, walk your feet back. Yes. All right. Ready? Left leg is up, breath in. Left foot comes forwards. Let's rock a bit forwards and back. I know, a totally different kind of flow today. Exciting, huh? All right, let's bring the right foot through. Sit all the way down. Left knee goes out to the side. Reach your hands up. Left hand faces the front of the mat, kneeling while thing reach up. Right foot goes by the left hand. It's a big movement. Say hello to the hips. Right hand reaches to the front. Left hand, Jamwadatsu. Organize yourself down, dog. Cool. All right. Roll like a wave into your plank. As you breathe out, Chaturanga. Up, dog. Big breath in. Down, dog. Breath out. Super. Life is full of unexpected twists and turns, not just on the mat, but in life. And it's how we respond to these changes, these twists, which help us go through life. Flexible in our outlook, as well as flexible in the body. From here, high on the tiptoes, bend the knees, look to your hand, step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, breathe out and fold. Stand all the way up, reach out, reach out. Hands to heart, breath out. All right, from the unknown to the known, we do three salutations, three and namaskar. Step back, jump back, I don't mind. Out and up as you breathe in, fill the back of the body with breath, but the nasana breath out, fall to the floor, soften your neck and your knees. Halfway lift, gaze forwards. As you breathe out, step or jump back, plank, then chaturanga. Either cobra or up dog, yogi's choice. Down dog. As you breathe out, adjust your feet here. Do the checks, wrapping the triceps, flattening the hands, softening the knees, lifting the tailbone, belly to spine, ribs in, soften the neck. Beautiful. However you went back, you go forwards, tiptoes, knees bend, look forwards, come forwards. Halfway lift and then fold. Stand all the way up, reach out, reach out. Akung all the way down, breath out. Halfway, let's gaze forward. Step or jump back. Plank pose, chaturanga all to the floor. Cobra or up dog. Down dog, breath out. Adjust your feet. Good. Do the checks a little faster this time. Hands and feet, arms and legs, spine, and the muscles and tissue surrounding it. High on the tiptoes, bend the knees, look forward, step or jump. Halfway lift and fold. All the way up, reach out, reach out. Hands all the way down, Uttanasana, fold. Last one, on your own breath. Flow through your salutation, your way. We'll meet in down dog. Three breaths in your down dog. When you're already jumping forwards, halfway left, fold. Stand all the way up, reach out, reach out. Hands to heart, breath out. So hopefully a bit warm now. Check the feet, that they are hip wide. Fingers come all the way down and touch the floor. As you breathe in, I'm gonna just step back a little bit and bring everything back because of my railing. There we go. All right, try to keep your hips low. Utkatasana, come on up. Belly in, front ribs in, drop the tailbone like an anchor. Arms up by ears so the chest is open. Slight inward rotation of your little fingers. Drop, 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 like it's hot, nice. All right, from here, we'll bring the hands down. 
Do not move your hips. This is the fun part. Left leg comes back, comes forwards, comes back, comes forwards, comes back, comes forwards. Right foot goes back, goes forwards, goes back, goes forwards, goes back, goes forwards. Utkatasana, rise. Okay, that was a practice round. Now let's do it. Hands reach forwards and then pull in towards the heart. Try not to move your glutes. Ready? Balancing on the right foot. The left foot goes back, goes forward, goes back. Hello, glutes, goes forward. One more time, goes back, goes forward. Right foot, back, forward. Don't lift the hips. Back, forward, back, forward. Chair pose, breathe in. Breathe out, hands all the way down, fold. Halfway lift, gaze forwards. As you breathe out, left leg up to the sky, standing split, oh yes. And then warrior one, left foot comes back. Before you come up, do the checks. Are you grounding into the back foot? Is the left hip wrapping forwards? Good, then come up. Nice, look up, feel the support of the earth underneath you. Right hand reaches to the back leg. Roll over the right shoulder. Breathe and feel the left side of your body with breath. Beautiful. We'll come onto the back toes. Good. Bring the right hand back. The left arm is staying. Cool. So it's kind of like a weird, like we're about to swoosh regulars in my class. We won't swoosh yet. Left elbow to the right knee. Both hands towards the sky. Open through the chest. Push your arm and leg against each other. I know. As you next breathe out, we swoosh. This means hands swoosh up and forwards, swoosh. Into warrior two, nice. Do you need to adjust your feet? I need to adjust my feet, so probably. Great. Reach forward, flip front palm, reverse. Reach up, feel the right side of the body with breath. Achtung, as you breathe out, we'll face the back of the mat, hands frame your left foot. Maybe the left foot wiggles more to the left. Back knee is down. So your left foot is now your front foot, your back knee, your right knee down. Squeeze the legs together. Breathe in, hands reach up. Out, back, and a big click from my no, shoulders up. Out, back, not down. So the hands are back, back, back. Straighten that front leg and spread the front toes. Reach your chest forwards, forwards, forwards. Beautiful, we'll do this two more times. Breathe, bend that front knee, hands up. Anjali Asana, reach them back. Adha Hanuman, straighten the front leg, chest forwards. Smooth and fluid, up, out, back, good. And then this time, hands up, out, back, Lift your back knee and then bring both hands forwards. Left hand stays, right hand reaches up, find warrior two at the back of the mat. Straighten the left leg. Left toes face the side of the mat, same as the right. Maybe adjust the feet if you need. Reach up as you breathe out a little bend to the knees, forwards and down. Oh. Okay, put your hands on blocks if you want. And if your blocks are far away or you don't have any, bend your knees so that you can bend your elbows. Pull the elbows in so that your wrists, elbows and shoulders are in a straight line. Yeah, the elbows are not coming out, pull them in, nice. Put the weight more on the toes and then bend your knees even more and bounce a little bit. Feeling buoyant? Oh, yes. All right, let's walk the hands over to the front. That means to the right. Oh, that feels amazing. Turn all 10 toes to the right side, hands flatten. You're in a low lunge. Right foot comes back. Nice. Roll like a wave into your plank as you breathe out, Chaturanga. Find up, tuck, breath in. Down, duck, breath out, super. 
However, if you want to come to the front, it's the right way for you. Tiptoes, knees bend, look to the front, step or jump. Halfway lift. And then breathe out and fold. Stay down. The right leg is up, standing splits. Your left foot is on the floor. Try not to open the hip. Instead, your heel of the right foot lifts up, 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 up. All right, let's find warrior one. Land that foot back, check your alignment, and then rise. Good. Belly is to the spine. We're open through the chest. Left hand to the back leg. Side bent up and over. Top little finger faces down a little bit. Oh, it feels so nice. All right, from here, the left hand reaches back, feeling that swoosh. And then from here, Whew. <laughs> take a moment. From here, we'll come all the way up. Oh, no, that was a lie. Sorry, come onto the back toes. The right elbow goes to the left knee. I almost forgot about the twist. Both hands up to the sky. You're on your back toes. Engage the glutes that we engaged earlier. And then open into warrior two. How are your feet? Do you need to change anything? It's fancy footwork. So for me, I always have to bring my left foot or my front foot in. That way I have heel to heel alignments. Then you can come down. Nice. All right. Reach forward, flip from palm, reverse warrior, reaching up and back. It feels so good. I know. And then come down, elbow to thigh, side angle. Chest turns towards the sky, looking up. Mm. Push into the back foot. Come on up, nice. Big movement, we're going all the way to the back. Right toes, move to the right. On your left toes now, hands down. Left knee to the floor, good. Breathe in, reach arms up. Out, back, down. Hands up. Out, back, straighten the front leg, reach your chest forwards, engage the front toes. And we go again, bend, up, out, back, and straighten. Bend, hands, up, out, back, leg straightens. Bend, up, out, back, leg straightens. Stay, 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 I know. Whew, bend, Hands, uh, sorry, knees up. Yes, reach the hands back, beautiful. Both hands forwards, up, warrior two, facing the back of the mat. Life is full of us going in directions we didn't think we would go in, and that's okay. Embrace every new thing, embrace yourself and embrace the strength within you to be rooted into the here and the now, feel your feet. Flip front palm, reverse warrior breath in, Side angle this way, right elbow, right thigh, left arm up and over. Push into your left foot. Proud of you. Can you turn the chest to the sky and look up? Breathe and come up, straighten both legs. Reach your hands up. Right foot faces the side of the mat. Both toes point the same direction. Small bend to the knees. Keep the arms by the ears. Hinge forwards. And I can give you a hug through, like ah, dramatic reaching, nice. Belly is in, don't collapse the chest. Just like we would do in tabletop, fill the back of the body with breath. One more breath here. Wait more on the toes, I know it's so hard. Breathe out, oh, we made it, hands down. Elbows in, relax the head. Let's walk the hands all the way over to the left side. That's the front side, the true front of the mat. Move everything over. Beautiful. All right, let's bring that left foot back. Downward facing dog, the familiar. <laughs> nice, okay. Roll like a wave into plank. Often we stay in plank. Nice. Turn your heels to the left. Bring your right hand back and up Vashistasana. Reaching up, 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 up. 
Beautiful. As you breathe out, arm forwards. Stretch through the sides of the body. It's always nice to do in the morning. Hand down over to the other side. Left hand is up now. Left hand reaches forwards. Don't collapse into the head. Left hand is down, plank pose. From here, come forward all the way down to the floor. Undo the toes. Good. Lift your right knee up. Bend it. Roll over to your left side. Put the right foot on the floor. And check your left foot. You're trying to stay on the outside edge, just like in Vashisthasana in plank pose. Wild thing. Let's come on up. Oh, yes, it feels so good. Squeeze the left hand into the earth. Heart to sky. Look at the top hand if it's okay for your neck. Big breath out, ready? That right foot comes forward. Nice. Ground your left foot. You choose, right elbow can be on the thigh or right hand inside or even outside your right foot. Side angle, left arm is up. Different ways to get into the poses we've been doing. Beautiful. As you breathe out, the left hand comes down. We're onto the back toes. The right elbow comes up. Left foot goes through. Option now to keep the foot lifted. Can you bring the hands forward for balance? Oh, I know it's so hard. Two, one, sit the bottom down. Yes. Right knee comes out, hands reach up. Right hand goes back. We did it before, we do it again. Kneeling wild thing. <laughs> like me, you're limited on space. Be aware of your back foot. Your left foot comes up, over, around, downward dog, facing the back of the mat. Move yourself, get yourself there. Beautiful. Roll like a wave into plank as you breathe out all the way down to the floor. Great. Untuck the toes. This time it's your left leg that lifts, bends. Roll to the right side, left foot down, Find wild thing. You're on the outside edge of your right foot. That's the straight one on the floor. Lift. Squeeze the right hand into the earth. Push into the outside edge of the right foot. Lift the heart to the sky. Option to look at the left hand is just going to help with that thoracic, that upper back rotation. Beautiful. Look at your right hand. Put your left foot next to it. Cool. You choose where you want to put that left hand. Round your back foot, find your side angle. Push arm and leg or elbow and leg into each other. Right hand comes down, left hand up, twist. Beautiful. Right foot all the way through. Yeah. Oh, let's see if I can pistol squat like this. No chance, I've got no space. <laughs> and then down. Left knee out to the left, hands reach up, left hand over to the left side, come on up, kneeling while thing, open to everything, all the unexpected surprises of life, isn't that part of the adventure? Right foot goes up, over, forwards, find downward dog facing the front. Amazing, cool. Okay. High on the tiptoes, roll like a wave into your plank. And then as you breathe out, knees, tilt the tailbone up, elbows in, then chest, then chin down. Cobra, everybody, release the top of the glutes, roll the shoulders back, open through the collarbones, kneecaps off the floor, engage the legs. Down dog, breath out. Hmm, <sighs> nice. Dear down dog, you're hard, but you're familiar, and therefore we love you. <laughs> All right. Begin weiter. High the tiptoes, bend the knees. Look to your hands. Bring your feet outside your hands. You can step or you can jump. Your piece choice. Hands forwards. And then you choose. Hands can be to the floor, they can be to the heart. They can even be up here if you've had three coffees already. Up to you. We're going to go side to side. Oh, yes.
All right, we've been sneaking in quite a lot of core strength already. I'm gonna sneak it in one more way. Bottom goes down. Oh, nice. Knees, say hello to your upper arms. Bend the elbows, thumbs face in. Move your feet in so that the big toes touch. And then look at the elbows. Knees and elbows come in until your elbows, your shoulders, and your wrists are in a straight line. So instead of a weird little frog, you have got chaturanga arms. Come onto the tiptoes. There's nothing behind you, but double check. Still nothing. Good. Roll back. Roll forward into this position. Balance. <laughs> Three more times. Back. Forwards. Balance. Maybe better than I am. Back. Forwards. Woo, fight for it. Balance. Last time. Back. Forwards. Balance. Don't worry if you need to use your hands. That's literally what your hands are there for, right? To help you. Okay. We know this position. Ready? Let's make it in real life. Cross your shins, not the ankles, the shins. That way you become a smaller package. Good. Hands down. Bring your feet in as much as you can. Lift up, make your waist back, 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 back. Undo your legs. Heels together, toes out. Look way past your mat. High on the tiptoes, elbows, pull back and in. We've done this action many times. Bakasana, come forward. Lifting. And if you're not flying yet in your yoga journey, that's okay. But I would like you to still look forwards. Come onto one tiptoe, pull one heel to the bottom, come down, same with the other one. If, on the other hand, this is super easy for you, try to pedal the legs, try to straighten the arms, keep pulling the elbows in, close your eyes. Uh -huh, closing your eyes is tricky now. Everybody, let's come back. Whew. Super. Walk the hands forwards, the knees in. Lift up into a little downward dog, so it's a narrow one. Check on the feet, I need it to widen mine. Right hand holds outside of left leg, twist. Look underneath your left arm. Mm, neutralizing that spine. Bring it back, left hand to the outside of the right leg. Twist, hello, <laughs> look underneath your right arm. Hands down, slide your feet back, 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 plank pose. Right foot outside, right hand. Oh, I know that was a big movement, right? Rock forwards and back, even bigger movement. <sighs> but it feels so good, kind of. <laughs> All right, let's put the back knee down. Reach the right hand up, out and back. Reach the hand back, back, back. Option for left hand to go onto a block. Pick up the back foot. If you don't find it, you can take a jumper, a sock, a strap, whatever you need. Lasso it and then pull it. Roll that left shoulder back. Open the heart to the sky. Good. With every breath pulling, with every breath out, pushing. Pull, push, pull. Push one more, pull, stay, 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 stay. I know. Use the legs to gently bring the foot down. Lift the back knee, reach your right hand up, forwards, down. Left foot outside, left hand, right foot back, step or jump switch. I don't mind, organize how you are. Rock forwards and back. And it doesn't matter how many times, even in a day, I do this pose. It always feels like my body has never done it before. And that's all right. <laughs> to keep coming back to the start again and again. It's like Monopoly, each time you pass start, it gets a little easier. Let's put the back knee down. Right hand can be on a block. This is going to help you lift up more if you like. Left hand is up. Left hand is back. Pick up the back foot and find it. Use what you have around you to help you. Pull the foot in. Open up the heart. 
As you breathe in, pulling your foot, your strap, whatever you have towards you, breathe out, push. Pull as you breathe in, push as you breathe out. Pull as you breathe in, push as you breathe out. Last time, pull and stay. Use your muscles, release, land the foot softly. Lift the back knee, lift the left hand up, forwards and down. Left foot goes back, lower to the floor. Ah, oh, and lift. I know. Okay. From here, pretty much my favorite way of opening the spine. The right arm out to the side. Roll again onto the right side. Okay, the left foot is trying to find the right hand. Don't worry if it never finds it, but that's what you aim for. Where is it? Flex your straight leg. When you breathe out, we'll do this on the other side. Transition over the belly, left hand out. Come on over, top leg tries to find left hand. And then we'll go three more times, both sides. One. Breathe in as you get there. Breathe out to transition. Breathing in. Breathe out, transition. Breathe in, you made it. Breathe out, transition. Breathe in. Breathe out, transition. Breathe in. We're all going to the left. This is the last time. Breathe out, transition. Breathe out, come onto your belly, nice. And then from here, you can put your forehead on your hands, make a pillow, and then lift. Sorry, my voice sounds a bit weird down here. Lift your kneecaps off the floor. Pull your low belly in, in, in. Pull your belly button in. Try to pull the front ribs in, connecting to that core. This is how connected you want to be in all back bends. Can you make your low back longer, the tailbone? Pull it towards your feet. Nice, you see how it all works together? Keep all of this, put the knees back on the floor, bend the knees, toes to the sky. Lift your head, look forwards, lift the arms. Come on back, find feet. Push feet into hands, hands into feet. How's that belly going? Oh yeah, there it is. How's the tailbone? Oh yeah. How's the breath? Super. And then breathe out, you made it. Please roll all the way onto your back. In the longer class, I can show you another transition, but for the sake of time and the fact it's the morning, right? We've done a lot. Let me just lie down. Okay, feet onto the floor. Push your lower back into the floor. How good does that feel? Same checks, just lying on the back. Can you lengthen your tailbone? You might need to lift it, pull it towards the feet, and then lie it down. Good. Can you pull the low belly up and in? Can you pull the belly to the spine? Can you pull the ribs in towards the spine? Nice. Can your fingers touch your feet? A bit easier this way. Great. All right. So to Bandasana, peel your back up and off the mat. Interlace your fingers. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Amazing. We'll stay for three. Big breaths. Make your back as long as you can. That's the aim of this. Two. Pull the feet towards you. One. Release. Widen. Roll down. All right. Everybody, hands and feet up to the sky. We circle the wrist and the ankles. One, two, three, other way, three, two, and one. I know it's a bit like being a weird dead bug, but it feels good. Okay, from here you decide, do you want to do wheel or do you want to do bridge? If you are doing wheel, then, well, everyone, actually the feet, sorry, come down. But if you're coming into wheel, I'd like you to think about where you place your hands. Obviously next to your ears, but try to have fingers facing out a little bit so that your elbows have a chance to face up, which means your shoulders can plug 
where your arms can plug into the shoulder sockets. All right, when you're ready, if you're doing bridge, please cross uh, interlace fingers the other way. Everybody come on up, organize hands and feet if you're doing wheel, and then rise. Nice. Everybody's five breaths here, pushing if you're in wheel, hands into the earth, looking at the elbows, trying to pull them in towards each other. Mm -hmm. Thinking about the legs, everybody squeeze them in. How's that tailbone? Feel it. Two more breaths. Proud of you all. All right, wherever you are, come down and join wheel, tiptoes, chin to chest, elbows in, in, in. It's the same feeling that our shoulder blades are wide on our back as we come down. Feet as wide as the mat, please. Knees together, right hand belly, left hand heart. Mm, super energized. Maybe you can survive going different directions on a mat. If you cannot just survive it, but actually enjoy it. Why not enjoy when things don't go to plan in real life? Instead of always thinking, oh no, but this is the plan and this is how I imagined it and this is how it needs to be. Maybe something even better than you could imagine is happening instead. But we, we have to be open to it. So open up, open your eyes if they're closed. Open up your arms out to the sides. Open the legs out so that you're kind of a giant starfish. Yes, so open. And we'll finish with a bit of somatic movement. So from this position, you might need to make yourself a more narrow X. So feet as wide as the mat, arms about 45 degrees up, beautiful. And then stretch your right hand and right foot away from each other. And then stretch left hand and left foot away from each other. Cool, two more times. So you're kind of rocking side to side, like you're stretching through both sides of the body. Nice. Stretch the right side of the body. Bring the right foot over the left, the right hand to the left hand. Hold thumbs or hold hands, Bananasana. Let's breathe through the right side of the body. Mm. Open up into that X again. Stretch the left foot to the left hand. Left foot crosses over. Left hand holds the right. You choose what way. Breathe into the left side. Bananasana. Mm, it feels so good. All right. Stretching. Okay. And then bring the knees into the chest. If you have a block. Do I have a block? I had a block. Now is the time to get it. There's my block. <laughs> if you have a block, please put the block on the low heights underneath your sacrum. If you don't have a block, it's okay. You're just going to try and pull the tailbone away from you to also traction the spine. Everybody, legs up. Ah. Another change in perspective. Flexing the toes, pushing the heels up, pointing the toes. Flex and point, flex and point, flex and point. Find neutral. Mm. Take the biggest breath so far in. Out through your mouth. <sighs> How good is life? Feeling your lymphatic system draining. Feeling the mindset shifting. When we approach life through, it's called pace, playfulness acceptance, curiosity, and empathy. We open ourselves to all the possibilities of life from a place of deep understanding, deep connection, connecting to that child within, 
He just wants to be loved, seen and heard. Bring your feet down. If you have the block, please lift it, move it out of the way. And then give yourself a nice big hug. Ugh. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And you tell yourself, I see you. I hear you. I accept you. Lie down. Shavasana. Slowly and gently come back. New fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. Big stretch. Oh, it's so good to be here, to be now, to be you. Ah. Knees in, roll to one side, sit up, hands to heart. And bowing down, we say thank you to our bodies, to each other to the connection, the bond between it all. And thank you for sharing your practice. Have an amazing day. Namaste.